And these are testimonials. You see if I hover over any of these testimonials, you see the effect. You see the color effect on it. And this is a slider. <clears throat> this is the testimonial slider. What I want to do is that I want to add a testimonial carousel. I want to add a testimonial carousel. So for testimonials, we want to make it a slider. We want to make the testimonials to be a slider, which are going to be sliding with the images and uh, of the people testifying and their testimony. So for this, we need to come to our we need to come to the back end and let's go to templates and we want to go to shift templates i don't have any templates here so i'm going to have to add this from scratch so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to click on add new template and i want to select page and i want to see yes name this t1 testimonial one it's loading now i want to make this i'll come to settings i want to hide the title and i want to make this to be elemental full width then of course you can save when you save i want to add this flex box and i want to add um, that with three containers now you see let's just use this one with four containers so that is that so inside this first one i want to add another container I want to add another container and the first thing I want to add is an image inside here I want to add an image I'll drag this one and put it here I'm going to select an image to use thus far we have just a few images I'll come to my downloads and I will just upload all of these images it will take time to upload I'll insert this first image uh, yes, I'll insert that first image there. F one thing we want to do first of all is that I'm going to give this entire area a background color of black. I'm going to give it a background color of black. So I'm also going to give this a background color. I'm going to make give it a minimum height, let's say 400. Or if 400 is too much i can change that i'll come to style i'll also give this a background color of black now what i want to do is i want to add some text under here i want to add some text under here that's going to be the testimonial so this is going to be the testimonial carousel let me add some background text and i also want to give this a border just for now so that we can see i want to give it a solid border and let it be one uh, two sorry i'll paste that there and then i want to pick this lorem ipsum text i'll copy some of that and paste it here Maybe that's too long. I'll put it in brackets, in quotes rather. And then I'll see Jane Doe. I'm going to highlight this Jane Doe. I'll bold it and I'll make it in italics. Then I want to put a stroke here. So for all of this text, I want it to be white. I want this to be white and it is Ubuntu. I think it is okay the way it is. If I could make this 500 and reduce it to 15. Okay, so that is that. So this is how I want it to look. If I save this and preview, so this is exactly how it looks. Now, we want to do some styling. 
first thing we want to do is that we want to choose the outer column this outer column I want to give it a padding of 20 pixels make sure to publish or to save your work now I want to come to this inner section and I want to give a padding of 10 and then I want to come back to the border and you could change this border color here to anything you desire now if I bring my mouse here I could just change it to this for tutorial purposes for now and then I'll see if my work come to hover I want to also give it this solid border and I want to make it to border with two and then for this it should be transparent now border reduce uh, we can make this to be six here and even on normal we can make it to be six for the next step we are going to have uh, have to add some CSS uh, code not to this inner section but to the outer section now we had added a padding here to the outer section of 20 let me use this uh, structure picker this is the container okay this is the let me check which of which of them we are on okay the, this is the first outer container no this is it this is it this is the entire container then this is the first outer one and then this is the inner one so this is the one we had added a padding we are giving it a padding of 20. so what we want to do is that we want to come now here to the css uh, custom css go to advanced tab come to uh, custom css and paste this code remember i told you all the codes are going to be in the description of this video and we see nothing happens yet then we want to come here to this um we come to this entire section first of all we want to come and give it a top padding of let's say 50 not 500 let's just make that 100 and then we'll give it bottom of 80. so now we want to come here to advanced for this first column come to custom CSS and we pasted that code there we now want to come to this entire section come to advance and where you see Z index or Z index whatever you call it from wherever you are you paste one day now you see this effect if I publish this and preview it you can see when I hover over this it gives me this effect now the reason why is this tick is because the padding of this outer section is 20. if i make the padding to be one you see inside there that is what it shows now what i'll do to make this look better if i publish this and look it on the uh, look at it on the front end yes i want to give this inner section more padding so if i click on the inner section now I can choose that inner container from here and if I increase the padding increase the padding to let's say 25 and when I come now and preview this you see it looks a lot better so this is what it is this is how we have it when you hover over this you see this effect I'll duplicate this section First of all, I want to give this uh, container. I want to give this container and a margin. I want to give it a margin of let's say 20 to space it out. I will delete this. I want to give it a margin of 20. So if I now duplicate and duplicate and duplicate again of course i have to delete this and delete this and delete this too so i'll change 
this one, the picture. I'll put this gentleman. Change the picture of this. And put this uh, lady here. I think there are two pictures that did not upload. One of them is this beautiful lady here. I'll add her picture there. And then I'll add the picture of this gentleman. So I can just change the names to maybe here John. And the same here, John. So that is John and John. Let me preview this. So this is what we see when we hover over the over it. We have this effect. That is that. It's looking really, really beautiful. Now, secondly, we want to add another um, another template. I'll leave it. I also want to come here to templates, saved templates. I want to add a new one and it's still going to be page and this one is going to be called T2. I'll create template. So what I want to do here is to do almost exactly the same thing. First of all, I'll come to settings, click on settings here, high title, make it elemental full width, publish. Now I want to copy this template. I just want to copy it. I will copy it here and just paste it here. And I'll simply just change the pages too. I'll use this lady here. Use this gentleman. Use the next lady. Uh, this is the next lady. And then the last gentleman. So, and I'm going to save this. Now, what I want to do on the front end of this uh, website, on the front page, if I preview this, it looks just as good as the last one. So, what I want to do is that when I come here, I want to add them. Now, when you use any of these, you created this template. We come to these templates. Let's come to shift template. You see that it gives us shortcuts. And this is what we are going to use. I'll come here and I want to add a new section. I want to give it a black background, of course. And then I want to look for testimonial. So I'll use this testimonial carousel. I want to delete this too. I want to delete the text here. I want to delete this image. I want to remove this. I also want to remove this. Now what I will do is I'm going to come to this uh, saved templates. I'm going to copy the short code for T1. I'll copy this. And I'm going to paste it here. You will not see anything here because um, this is just a template. This is the dashboard. But when we preview it, you see it. If I publish this, I'll preview this. <laughs> there you have it. But it's not yet sliding because, and you see the text is now italicized. It's the style for this testimonial carousel you can go ahead and change that come to content and then for the content go to typography and 
for the decoration or transform no that's not decoration that's not transform let's go to decoration you can see none and then for the style you can see normal let's see that now you see now the text is normal but there is nothing wrong if you leave it as a, a slider so i will come now back here and i want to duplicate this and i want to copy this next short code and i'll put it here and then i'll publish that when i publish it you see now we have this slider here we can slide we can slide this and slide this and slide that now what i want to do is that i want to increase the size of this page i'll just click on the six dots and let's see if i make it full or let's just say i make it 1250 1250 and you see it's now a bit stretched out then of course we can add the we can add the text here the heading for us to be able to add, add the heading we are going to need to edit this template again make the top padding <coughs> to be less of this entire section so that we can add our heading here so what i'll do is this is the first one i'll edit with elementor and this one i'll also edit with elementor so this is the first one the top padding i'm going to make it let's say 10 10 i'll publish that this is the second one i'm going to make the top padding to also be 10 and i'll also publish that if i now reload this page you see the gap there between this section and that section on top has reduced what i will now go ahead and do now if peradventure you said we wanted this to be full width and i reload you see it doesn't what actually happens is the brackets the uh the um navigation arrows that the slide right to the bottom but you can change that you can change that you can change all of this here when you come to width you can make this 100 percent come to additional options and then you can choose it should auto play and then let's say pagination you don't want any arrows don't show so if you come now to the home page and you reload you see you don't have those again but it auto slides it's going to auto slide uh, because internet connection may be an issue sometimes i'll just keep the arrows i'll just keep the arrows and then the transition should be let's see 400 Now you see so i'll keep that 